Thank you for joining Stamp It Up with Kathy Goodman. Today we are making um, the Paper Pumpkin Alternative um, Little Love Boxes. It's an add-on to the January um, Sending Love um, Paper Pumpkin. I am using the stamp set that came with the Paper Pumpkin. Um, I'm using Hi Valentine and sending love your way. Um, first, we're going to start off and make the um, red one. Um, we're going to use the little snail. That is part of what comes in the alternative um, add-on box set. First of all, we're going to take our box and we are going to use our bone folder to um, fold it and score it on all of the score lines. This will help um, give it a nice crisp creases and so it will um, stay folded and look nice once we get it all together. So I'm just folding and scoring on each and every score line. Even the little tabs because that helps hold it in place so you have a nice looking finished product. Okay, we're almost done here. We have just a couple more to do. There we go. This final one. Okay, we've got that all scored. Now this is the a lid of our box. So we're going to take and to put it together, you're going to fold in these two sides and then we're going to Put the, there's a little hole in the bottom and you're going to push that through and that will hold that side in place. And then the first side is the hardest. The second side is a lot easier because it's already starting to show that shape. So we're going to push that in. Make sure it's, it's in the hole so it stays. Looks good. So now we're going to tuck in our back box top. There we go. We are going to take some red twine. It's braided twine and we are going to tie. Actually, before we do that, let's put our goodies inside our box. We're going to put two chocolate hearts. Um, if you had shredded paper, you could put that in there too to make it look even fancier. And we're going to Take our ribbon. I haven't taken it off the spool because it saves a little bit of ribbon when you don't. That way you can tie what the amount you need and then cut it off and you waste less. Okay, we've got our bow here. So um, and we want that up at the top like we've got it. Um, we're gonna just make the. We're gonna trim your twine at an angle. That way, it gives it a more finished look. There we go. Now we got our bow tied. Let's get. Um, I forgot to mention, this is this Little Love Boxes supply list. This is what I've used to um, decorate my boxes. So if you want to take a screenshot of this, that will give you all the supplies that I've used in addition to what comes in the package. Um, you get these in the package um, and you get the little snails. So. Um, I've opted not to use the little tags that come in there for this particular project. Um, I'll probably use them for another one. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to stamp our High Valentine. We're going to need Real Red ink, so I'm going to bring in my Real Red ink pad. 
and my high valentine stamp and I want to stamp it not not in the middle but kind of more over to the right side but also leaving enough space that I can put one of the resin heart embellishments on on this as well right at the edge so we're gonna go straight down press down firmly and then lift it off looks like we got a good image so now we're going to use one of our resin hearts um, if you have a take your pick tool that works really good for picking these up off of the um, deal and placing them there we go now we have that on there let's take and put we're going to put a couple dimensionals. We're going to use the large dimensionals. Let's close up this ink pad before we have a mess. Let's bring in two large dimensionals. We're going to put one on each side. And then I'll use my take your pick tool to take off the paper backing on the back side of the dimensionals. There we go. Now we're going to bring our box back in and we're going to center this in the center of our box and the polka dots do help it make it a little bit easier to line it up. And then we're going to put on our high valentine um, little sentiment on the front, we're going to use our small uh, mini dimensionals and we're going to put three of them on. So one on each end, one in the middle, and then um, we'll pull off our paper backing. And we'll set this right on the top of this. Oops. Try to get this a little straighter. There we go. Now we can pull in our little snail. This coordinates perfectly with the snail that um, sweet in the um, mini catalog that goes from January through June. I'm just putting a little bit of liquid glue on the back of my snail and I'm going to slip him right over here. So he's actually glued onto the tag. And there we go for our first project. This is my sample and then this is the one that we just completed together. Okay, now let's go on to the second one that we're going to make. We are going to um, use Pool Party ink, and we're going to bring in this um, shape that was cut from the Stitch So Sweetly set. Um, the heart one that we used on this particular box we just finished this um, and this was from the succulent die set in the mini catalog so that's where that comes from in case you were wondering okay we're dipping our sending love your way into our ink our pull party ink and we're going to stamp it straight down on our die cut piece so it turned out really cute now let's um, close up our ink and bring in our box this time I went ahead and folded the box and ahead of time because you had already watched me do that um, I took one of the cards uh, one of the greeting cards from the paper pumpkin and I cut 
two inch strip, so it's two by five and a half. And then I scored it um, just, the box is two inches wide. Um, this is a half an inch, this is two inches, another half an inch. So what I did is I added a sixteenth of an inch to the two inches and I did a, I just made a little pencil tick um, to do the center part. And then on my sides, I did a half an inch plus a sixteenth of an inch just to make it to where it would slide on and off the box. So when you do what we call a belly band, you want to use an adhesive that's really strong. I would suggest using tear and tape for this one. Um, you could use um, the Stamp and Seal Plus. Um, it is a little wider than this, and since I don't have a lot of extra wiggle room, I like to use the tear and tape on this one. So we're just gonna put it across like this. Um, tearing tape, you just, you can tear it off or you can use your scissors to cut it. Um, just depends on what your preference is. Okay, so we're gonna bring the box back in and we are going to remove the paper backing on our, um, Tearing tape. Whoops, I gotta get my dimensionals off of there. There we go. Okay, so then if you just take a piercing tool, it helps, or you can use your fingernails, it helps lift the edge so you can um, remove the paper backing off of your tearing tape. Okay, so now we're gonna take and we're going to hold the and then we're just going to secure it. Then you can see that it still will slip off your box fairly easily. There we go. So you can slip it off to um, put a treat inside um, or whoever you give it to, your recipient can um, also open it up. I use some pool party um, sheer ribbon and what I did is I just took a piece of it folded it put it through and I'm, we're not going to tie a bow we're just going to tie a knot so I figured it just kind of added a little bit of shimmer to this project so let's get this back over here we're going to pull this over to the side and we're going to go over the top and through. Um, this will give me my knot on the side. Okay. That one is not a very nice knot. I'm going to try it again. Okay. The ribbon was kind of cur curved. Okay, so we're going to go over the top and then back through and just pull it straight. Then we're going to hold it over here. Let me cut this off. It might make it easier. Oops. Okay, let's try this again. Go from the top over the bottom and then through. And let's see if that gives us the nice little knot we want. Okay, there we go. So now um, you can take your scissors and just trim it at an angle. There we go. So I don't know if you can see, but this rib ribbon has a little shimmer to it. It's kind of cool. 
Okay, we're going to take our Sending Love Your Way label. We're going to put dimensionals on the back of it. Um, we put one on this side and one on this side. We're going to remove the paper backing. And then we're going to set that on our, oops, our box right here. Kind of a little bit over on this side so we can add our, gives us room to add our snail. Okay. Let's see here. And we'll put just a little bit of liquid glue right there. And then we'll add a mini dimensional to our box and that way we know our snail is going to stay secure. There we go. Okay, so. There we go. Maybe add another dimensional behind his eyeball. There. There, now he's secure. And then our little ribbon is just peeking out just a little bit. Now we're going to add some dots of glue and we're going to put the mini hearts that I've cut in advance and I'll show you. They come from the Floral Hearts dies, um, this particular um, die. So I got all the um, hearts out of the poke them out of the um, die once I cut it out. And so then we're going to use our take your pick tool and place those on our box. And There's a right and a wrong side to these little hearts, so just be careful when you're putting them on that you have the right side up, otherwise it's concave and looks kind of funny. Okay, here we go. This is our second project that we completed using the um, little love boxes, and this is our first one. I hope you enjoyed these products. And um, you will join us again for another Stampin' Up! video in the near future. Have a blessed day.